next type of nouns is material nouns now what do you understand by material nouns now material nouns are tangible now what is tangible what is tangible things which can be seen touched and exist this is known as tangible now material nouns are known as <coughs> tangible why it is known as tangible because it talks about those things which we can see which we can touch or we can tell that which with what ingredients it is made up of of for example <clears throat> for example my bat is made up of wood now here we are talking about bat now we are talking about the material what material it is used to make this bat so it says that my bat is made up of wood so this wood is a material noun over here similarly this pen is of metal now the pen that i'm holding is made up of of metal it is of which kind it is a metal or the clothes which you are wearing what type of clothes you wear in summer we usually uh, wear cotton clothes so that cotton clothes is your material now another thing it says that nouns that names material or substances that we see and touch right or or our ingredients for making things are called material noun looking into the features of material nouns it says that material nouns are used in the singular form that means whenever we talk of any material noun that material noun is always in a singular form it is not written in plural form always in singular form for example the bat is made of wood this wood is a singular we don't write the bat is made of woods this when we add es or s in a word then it is considered to be as a plural form so we don't say that bat the, the bat is made of woods only the bat is made of wood the singular form no plural form is used in material noun got it now second thing is no article is used before them no article that means no the a uh, and is used before a material noun no use of article a and the if we use these three article in front of the material noun then those words then those nouns will be considered as a common noun for example if you can see over here it says that bring a glass of water now a is used which article is used over here article a is used over here so this glass will not be considered as a material noun rather it will be considered as a common noun if it would have been the and then also it would have been considered as a common noun now a material noun becomes a common noun when there is an article before it or if the noun is in the plural form now it says that when does a material noun becomes a common noun when there is an article before it 
when there is an article before the material now suppose if here we are talking about glass here it is a written this is an article so this is a common noun and another thing when it can be a common noun when there is a plural form okay then that noun will be considered to be common noun now the next types of nouns is abstract noun now abstract nouns are in tangible intangible now why abstract nouns is intangible because it talks about the things which cannot be seen or touched on one side we talked about tangible the things which we can see and touch whereas on the second hand intangible are those things which cannot be seen or touched so what are the things that can be untouched what are the things that we cannot see or we cannot touch usually abstract noun talks about uh, feelings then um state of things which cannot be touched concept quality for example honesty example honesty we can see honesty in people but we cannot touch it right we can only see it we can feel that there is an honesty but we cannot touch it but we cannot go inside and see the honesty second is um, anger we can feel the anger but we cannot see by looking of course by looking at the face expression we can feel that this person is angry but virtually we cannot get inside and see that that uh, about the anger we cannot look into the anger of that person right and neither we can touch that anger next is love again we cannot touch the love we can only feel it so this is what abstract noun is next is formation of abstract nouns how abstract nouns are formed abstract nouns can be formed by adding syllables like r y n e s s s h i p and so on at the end of the original words just like prefixes and suffixes i hope you know what prefixes and suffixes is known as similarly here syllable like r y r y n e s s s h i p these are the words of syllables now how do you add in a word suppose if you are writing brave plus r y this r y is your syllable now when you join these two words that means main word and syllable r y this will become bravery similarly friend plus ship makes friend ship this is how you form abstract noun the next type of noun is countable and uncountable nouns now talking about countable noun countable nouns are those type of nouns in which things can be counted for example if your book is of 100 pages so you can easily count you can easily say that there are 100 pages in a book whereas in uncountable noun the things which cannot be counted suppose if you bought 100 one uh, kg of sugar so though so that one kg of sugar if i ask you to count how many sugar cubes are there in one kg of sugar can you count it no you cannot so this is known as uncountable nouns now second thing is a an and one are used with singular nouns the article a an and the word one are used with singular nouns for example a pen an apple a peacock an axe a clock an eagle uncountable nouns a an a an or one are not used with uncountable nouns when we talk about uncountable nouns these articles including one is not used with uncountable nouns now 
इनकाउंटेबल नाउन्स मैनी वर्ड्स लाइक मैनी एंड फ्यू आर कंसिडर्ड एज नंबर्स एंड इट कैन बी इंक्लूडेड इन काउंटेबल नाउन्स वेर इट क्वालिफाइज मैनी एंड अ फ्यू सो दिस इज काउंटेबल नाउन्स वेर एज इन अनकाउंटेबल नाउन इट इज क्वालिफाइड बाय मच एंड अ लिटल मच एंड अ लिटल इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अनकाउंटेबल नाउन सो दिस इज वॉट दिस चैप्टर इज ऑल अबाउट I hope you are clear with this chapter now. Please go through the video once again and just go through whatever that I have explained in details. Thank you.